Hi, Tom at Taylor's Music Store's keyboard department. And today's subject matter is keyboards and the terms that you're gonna hear bantered about when you're trying to figure out what is the best first keyboard for you and your family. Keyboards come in various sizes. Uh, so one of the first things you have to decide is how many keys do you want on your keyboard? We carry keyboards that are 61 keys, as these two are, 76, as this one is, and 88 as this one is. And of course, 88 is that number of keys on a regular piano. So these are all miniature pianos in a sense. The second term that you're going to hear about is weighted keys. Let's take a look at the small keyboards first. You'll notice that the keys themselves are thin. Therefore, they're very light to the touch. These are non-weighted keys. When you take a look at this 88 note keyboard, the keys are very thick in the front and they are weighted. You can really feel a difference. Why do they have weighted keys? Because regular pianos, if you want to simulate one, is made of wooden keys. That certainly has weight to it. However, keyboards offer lots of terrific features for the money. For example, one of the other features about a piano is touch sensitivity. So let's see what that means. Taking a look at these keyboards, I have this keyboard here set up to, to have fixed keys, which means it's going to have exactly the same volume no matter how hard I strike the key. If I hit it softly or, or loudly, the volume is the same. Many keyboards are fixed. This keyboard offers touch sensitivity, which means if I strike a key soft, it'll play softly. If I strike it loud, it'll play loudly. So touch sensitivity is a nice feature to have that makes it more like a regular piano. So if you'd like a keyboard, they offer a lot of technology for a low price. They're terrific. But if you want something as much like a piano as possible, your choice is the 88 note keyboard with weighted keys, which we call portable digital pianos. I'm standing here in front of an open piano so that we can kind of discuss some of the other terms that you'll be hearing and also the evolution of the weighted key action. Originally, weighted key actions are designed like this with a plastic key and a weight on the bottom of the key that strikes directly up. Some weighted key actions still work like this and it does give you a sense of weight. As the weighted key actions evolved, they put the weight in the very back, striking up from the back, giving you a more authentic feel. The very best weighted keys today are made of wood. As we saw earlier, of course, pianos use real wooden keys, so this gives you the most authenticity. A company like Kawai has been making digital pianos with weighted key wooden actions for over 25 years. Another term you'll hear is graded hammer action. What does that mean? Well, if we take a look at the inside of the piano, the hammer is the, the felt round that strikes the string. In the low or bass area of the piano, the hammers are bigger and fatter because they have to hit a, a fatter string. As you go higher on the piano, the hammers get smaller and smaller. So consequently, the key here is a little heavier than the key here, which is a little lighter just because the hammers are different in size. So for that extra level of authenticity, some, if not many, digital pianos use graded hammer actions. So the question is, what's the right keyboard for you? If you're getting a starter keyboard and you want to really keep the price down, the small keyboards are very affordable. They can act as a starter piano and you can take keyboard lessons on these instruments as well, which is a little bit different than just straight piano lessons. However, if you want to make your teacher happy, you go with an 88 note weighted key portable piano like this, or even a digital console piano like this. We have all these choices and more at Taylor's Feel free to stop in and we'll help you pick out just the right instrument for you.